If you are a French defense player just like me, then you have to take a look at this funny sideline that I'm going to show you guys. This is certainly not the best line to play, but chess is about having fun, right? So sometimes we have to try something questionable, lose some games, and then rage quit the game for a month, right? Just kidding, but if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I recommend you click the subscribe button down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We just hit the mark of 800 subscribers, so why don't you join the team? Well, and like I said, this is a video on the French defense, and if you are a French de defense player just like me, and you probably uh, hate your life and you are miserable like me, uh, you're probably uh, going to play questionable moves anyway. Just kidding. But fact is that uh, there are some sidelines that can be quite fun to play sometimes. We don't have to play the best lines all the time, and we can get some really interesting positions and of course, you guys probably know that this is the French defense starting position. Your opponent's going to play d4, you play d5. And here we go. We have the French defense. And one move that is a little uh, interesting here is when your opponent takes. In a video recently, I showed you what to do when you take with the queen here, which is a very interesting sideline that you might play against your opponents. And I recorded a video on that. And if you are interested in watching that, I'm leave a link in, uh, I'm gonna leave a link here in the card. And uh, here you're gonna do something even crazier than taking with the queen and exposing your queen to an early attack. Here you're gonna do something even crazier than that, more crazy. And it is just ignoring completely that your opponent took your pawn and developing your knight to f6. And here, your opponent might simply uh, ignore you as well and play knight f3. And if they do that, you just take the pawn and then you're playing uh, an exchange variation. There is nothing here. But uh, more often than not, according to the Lee Chess database, your opponent is going to take the pawn. And you are gambiting a pawn. Just take back with your bishop. And soon enough, it's move four. And you have a lead in development as black. You have two pieces developed. Your opponent has none. And you have some open lines here to attack half open file here. So uh, this is actually looking pretty good and the computer doesn't hate it at all. So this might be even playable, right? So more, uh, most common move here is knight f3. And after that, you're going to play a crazy move, c5. Yeah, this is crazy. You're challenging this pawn right here. And if your opponent takes the pawn, which is the most common move here, you immediately equalize the game. And if your opponent goes for the check with the bishop, then you have to know more or less what to do here. So the most common move is pawn takes, and if your opponent takes here, you are already equal. Even though you gave a pawn uh, as a kind of a gambit at the start of the, this game, you see that the queens are staring at each other and you're just going to trade queens. Your opponent will have to take with the, with the king and they are losing castling rights here, which is pretty good for you. You don't have to rush taking this pawn right now. Your opponent can go, um, very badly if they don't know what you're doing here because you're going to play this move knight to g4 and you're threatening a fork and your opponent might say what the fork is that so they have to defend this pawn they might just go here and check your king that's not much because you just maybe block here but the most common move will be bishop here to defend this pawn if they don't do anything you can just grab it and you have a fork so that's the move you're going to develop your knight, preventing this check from happening. Uh, and if your opponent doesn't even matter about that, they are going to pin your knight here. What you do is you simply take the bishop with check, forcing your opponent to recapture here. And now you just castle along with check again. All the moves coming with check, very interesting. And then your opponent's going to develop, let's say, the knight here to block. Bishop takes the pawn, finally we take back the pawn over here. And as you can see, we have the bishop pair in this position. White's gonna bring the rook, you also bring your rook to the center of the board, you have some open files over here. And after bishop takes, pawn takes, this is slightly better for black according to the engine. According to the engine, this is like uh, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.3 for black because we have an open board and we have the bishop pair in this open board. Yes, we have this isolated pawn here, but they also have one. So um, pawn structures are not really great, but we have the bishop pair. We might fight for an advantage here, like we have um, the open board, okay? 
Of course, your opponent doesn't necessarily have to go for that taking the pawn here. They might just go for the check first. And if they do that, you just block with your knight. Hey, okay, that's pretty much it. That's what you're going to do. And here, um, well, your opponent might take your knight or castle, right? These are the two options that we can see here. If they go for the castle, oh, this makes your life easier. You're just going to develop your queen to b6. This is kind of forcing or encouraging your opponent to trade this bishop down here. I mean, otherwise, what is the point of moving the bishop here and then coming back or here or here? So you're just going to see this very often. You just recapture. And after pawn takes, you take back with your bishop. And let's say knight to c3. Here you can play rook to d8, hitting the queen, forcing the uh, opponent to move this queen away. And then you can castle. And you have a pretty good game here. You have your bishops very open, uh, open board here, very easy to attack at the cost of a pawn. So pretty good. You have the initiative. You can keep attacking here. It's a great position. But if your opponent doesn't go for this, and they actually go, um, sorry, they go for uh, go for this. If they go for uh, bishop takes right away here, you just take back with the pawn, right? And maybe after that, after trading the pieces, your opponent decides to castle. You just play queen to b6 anyway. Okay. Now your opponent probably going to take the pawn. You take back with the bishop. Knight c3 is a very interesting move because your opponent is planning to do this and hit your bishop and your queen at the same time, making it hard for you to defend this bishop. So you just retreat the bishop. You know, uh, you are probably expecting that move so you do that queen to e2 might be played here developing the queen clearing the way for the bishop and the, the rooks to connect so you might play maybe you can go ahead and castle here if you want already i like playing h6 sometimes here just to prevent some infiltrations that can be annoying here so i don't like that um they might try to develop the bishop that way you castle they develop the bishop fianchetto you bring your rooks to the center of the board. Knight a4, like I told you guys before, this move to hit the queen, the bishop would be here. It's not because we retreated. Just retreat the queen and we are good to We can bring this rook maybe to uh, one of the open files, maybe to the center. We have a great game. In this position, we are down a pawn. Uh, down, uh, oh my god. We are down a pawn. And this is not super great, of course. But this is the worst that we can get with this position. And it's... I, crazy that we can get so well by just giving away a pawn on move three, right? So we are just doing this instead of taking back with just this and take back. We have a lead in development. Like I said, this is the key move that's going to make your opponent go wrong by taking the pawn. And here you can just go ahead and trade queens and threaten this fork right here. This is probably going to happen a lot depending on the levels you're playing. And if not, you can just go ahead and continue our development. Takes, castle with check, take your pawn finally, bring your rook to the center. This is just a great position for black. It, this is not actually so bad. Okay, so if you like this video, and if you found this line for the French ex exchange for black crazy, super crazy, and very questionable, leave a comment down below, refute me, show the moves that are super bad here, and try to play better for white show me in the comments leave a like if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more and as always i see you guys in the next video